So since they play that game, we play this one. Put up the chief again. All right, so until we actually have a release of the people involved, you will be the face of this story until that happens. All right, that is a rule we have here on indisputable, sir. Okay, you, I'm buck stops with you. You know good damn well um, those cops should not have done this to that man. David, you've seen and you have reported on a lot of police misconduct and you inform us of our rights, okay? This guy, because you look at a story headline like this, you say, got to be something else. But no, because it was some, if it was something else, they would have charged him with something else. There's nothing else. That's what it is. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's some sort of James Bond pen and it doubles as a gun or it's a $2,000 <laughs> right. diamond encrusted pen. And, and the guy looks at this and says, I'm keeping this. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, never mind, you know, the, the pen. You've talked before about defund the police, and this is another example of defunding the police. Because what's going to happen? Any legal expert's going to look at this, and Mr. Bray's going to walk away with more money yep. from this department than the entire budget for pens in every police department up and down the U.S. East Coast. That's how much That's money fine. he's going to get out of this. And so, you know, fine. The, the police officer was mad that he, he his his pen he gave his pen, and the guy inadvertently didn't give it back. Okay. But the other part about this, which is, again, we get to you know the use of force. The courts, it is settled law. Police cannot tase somebody unless that person presents an imminent threat to themselves, to the police officer, to somebody who's standing by. Saying, I don't know where your pen is, is not an imminent threat, except to the police officers, perhaps his own ego, because now he's lost his pen. Um, this is ridiculous. And I just, you know, shame on this police department. And I hope this uh, police chief takes some sort of action uh, and retrains his officers and gives them plenty of pens and says, don't be beating up on people because you accidentally give away your pen and forget to get it back.